Hey guys, Bryce off here. Welcome back to this game. Let's roll through that door. This game being Metal Gear Solid the Twin Snakes, let's head into Warehouse North and see what we can find. Some chaff grenades, which I've not been using. Oh crap! That's not cool. Can't look around the corner. That's annoying. Crap. You were supposed to have the. Damn it! I didn't have my gun out. God damn it! Not a good start today. Not a good start. Here I am, all getting ready to shoot the guy in the face with a trank, and yeah, it's gonna do me no good. Let's try it again, shall we? We shall. <sighs> Go to sleep. Someone up in the lights, eh? Go to sleep. Alright, let's see what we got. Hopefully there's no more guards? Uh, okay, that would be bad to run into. Man, once I, someone told me I could shoot those, life became so much simpler. Anything up here worth looking at? Looks like some ammo, but other than that, stingers. They want me to have stingas. Uh, hopefully, I don't got to use the stingas for anything too crazy here in the future. That's all about the stingers, apparently. I like how they have the first little hallway, but it's all cloudy, so you know there's going to be a load. It's kind of an interesting way to do things. There's somebody way in the distance. This angle's no good. Coming in my line of sight or not? I really don't like this angle they're giving me. It's kind of crappy. Where are these guys? They must be above me. Am I supposed to... I, it's one thing I never learned how to... Oh, wait, so I can't shoot them unless I'm in the room? What's going on here? Oh, crap, is that the Metal Gear? Didn't see the forest for the trees here. Alright, let's lob a whole bunch of grenades out and get the fuck out of here. That would be my thought process, personally, but what do I know? That stuff looks dangerous as hell. Yeah, they're guards. They're moving. They're not like the cameras who just kind of stationary and swing back and forth. Nope. Yeah, see, now I'm all paranoid as hell. I don't want to set guards off in this area if I can help it. I think they're right above me. Hello? Guards? 
Where are you? There's like a guy like right above me basically. Huh. I'm not gonna say I don't struggle trying to find people, because I do. Uh, that looks like it's a path to stairway down to danger down there. This is just a dead end. Yeah, this looks like it's a dead end. Awesome. So it does mean no wait. Is there a camera somewhere? Probably up there somewhere that I can't hit right now. I can hear that guy. Way above me right now. All right, fine. Where's this go? Just some freebie ammo. Fair enough. Oh, I got a call. Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear. But it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, no mechanics. It's too quiet. Good point. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course. But there are ways. Are you a hacker? <laughs> yep. That describes me pretty well. <laughs> Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. <laughs> I'm counting on you. Oh, good God, that was hilarious. I don't know why that was so funny to me, but it was. Let's just crawl up the stairs. Hear the foot falls, but what good does that do me? It's right above me again. Huh. Alright, let's, let's see here. I just I really want to try to get a line of sight on whoever's a Go to sleep. Alright, that's one guy down. Man, they give me lots of chaff grenades. Am I gonna need these things soon? Is that how I'm gonna take down the Metal Gear? Holy God, guys! Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I've never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay. Keep trying. Snake, that was like literally just a couple minutes. That's actually pretty impressive that he's broken through that much security. I can hear the guy snoring on the floor. It's pretty hilarious. Oh my god! Snake, I did it! You got past security? Bingo! Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. 
So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? Haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. <laughs> but Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean, it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one up until now? Because of the missile's rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. That's a good point. Because of that. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. We learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. <laughs> Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. It would push back the signing of the START III Treaty. If word gets out about this weapon, it'd cause a whole world of trouble. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the President down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested. Only simulated. You mean with VR experiments? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but... I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. That ain't good. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So, you think they can do it? Well... The dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. No pressure. Seriously, where's that other guard I heard tromping around? Is it just the one guard? I mean, there is something here looking. Fortunately, I'm assuming it's just a go. Uh -oh. Oh, that? god damn it! How does that always happen? Go to sleep. <laughs> How do I always get hit when I go in for the hit? Like, is my timing just that abysmal? Like, there is a gun turret here, right? If there is, I can't seem to see the damn thing. It must be higher up. Alright, fine. I'm just being too paranoid for my own good. My progress is now at a snail's pace because I'm actually trying not to get... Oh, for God's sakes. Otacon, really? Snake. Did you find it? No, I haven't found out about the override <laughs> system yet. But I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? 
That's part of it. Arms Tech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. Uh, I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That, plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. That's business. It looks like they were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Alright, well, I guess we'll just keep plowing along here. Oh, good. We haven't had a conversation in mere seconds. <laughs> okay. I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernatin, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? Liquid. I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site. If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. That's pretty smart. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the president's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see... <laughs> yes. When the other countries hear about the new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Just a billion? One billion dollars. All for money. That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the fox dye vaccine in our demands. Fox dye? It killed Octopus and the arms tech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Hmm. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with amphetamine and adrenaline levels in the blood. They deployed a product still in development into live combat. No surprise it was unreliable. They must have been desperate. Um... In any case, have you heard from your friend Colonel Sergei Golukovich at Spetsnaz yet? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm. He's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and the new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. <laughs> their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? <laughs> that Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's, he's a politician. Maybe so, but he's the one who gave us the hind, 
and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we joined forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldiers' brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. It's going to be a long war. We could still escape. We have the new nuclear power, and we're going to ally with Galukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? <laughs> and what's wrong with that? Fighting the whole world? From here, we can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar and totally immune to interception. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. But boss, what about your promise to Colonel Gulukovic? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, you can call this place Outer Heaven. Outer Heaven. Nice. Big Boss's dream. Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden? If the code is entered again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him. Don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. Oh, better give up. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl, she's alive. I think she'd answer her codec once in a while. Not the time, Otacon. I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They finished inputting the PAL codes. So, how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see, the override system that the President was talking about, it can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? You need the keys for input. Three of them. But I only have the one. Where are the others? Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three oh, keys. Oh, it's one of these. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. Hmm. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Great. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. <laughs> Binoculars, really? Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. You input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Hmm. Huh. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card, and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. 
It's an emergency system, and it's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key snake. Oh, we're dead. Uh oh. Who's that? Uh oh. This is really bad. Snake, you have some problems. Oh, good God. This is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. Uh oh. Snake, you've got to get that key. This is not good. This is not good. Guards are still out at least, so that's a bonus. All right. Ah, uh, I have no idea how to find this thing. Find that card key. It fell somewhere in that drainage ditch. Use your mind detector. Mind detector. Yeah, exactly. Yes. The mind detector works just like a metal detector. The position of the card key should show up on your radar screen. Excuse me. Don't mind me. Coming through. All right. Well, I guess we should uh, get the mind detector out. Well, it doesn't seem to be in this immediate area. I'm gonna do my due diligence here. All right, I think I see a dot there. Oh, wait a minute. That's sneaky. There is a... I can't shoot it, though, can I? I can't seem to lean out, though, is the problem. Okay, that one's down. Wait, did I see a body moving up there? I'm making Snake run like a bit of an idiot, but what can I say? Do I, this is where I gotta go into? Really? I gotta go down into this grossness? Okay. Snake, did you find the card key? No. no. It's not here. Don't be ridiculous. You saw it fall into the drainage ditch, didn't you? The drainage ditch. Isn't there something odd about it? No. There are a lot of big rats, though. That's it, Snake. A rat must have eaten it. Now who's being ridiculous? No, I'm right. There's no other possibility. Rats eat all sorts of things. There's nothing unusual about that. Wait, the... Yeah. Alright, well, I don't know what to tell you, other than maybe I gotta start shooting some rats? Seems kind of ridiculous to me. Alright, well, let's keep looking, I guess. I mean, that's... Uh, SOCOM bullets? Okay, that doesn't do me any good, though. Alright, I've been through the full ditch. Where the hell is it? Okay. 
Okay. I heard a rat. What does that mean, though? I can't see any rats. This is really, really annoying. What am I supposed to do here? Like, I'm going to just have my gun drawn here to see if I can shoot the rat, I guess? I heard one. Does that mean anything? I have no idea. Huh. I don't know what to do here. I'm really confused. Hmm. There was a rat there, but it went back into the hole there. Perhaps if I wait long enough, it'll show up again. Am I seriously going to have to pop a rat? You know what I could do, actually? Yeah, okay. The rat seems to interact with me. Come on, rat. We're gonna play a little game. Actually, I can't zoom in because I think B is for the zooming for that, so... Come on, rat. Come on out. I promise to really hurt you. Did I get it? Did I miss it? Oh my god, did I actually miss it with that explosion? Because I can't see over the top of my own damn gun here. My god, that was pathetic. <laughs> Try again. Just back up. Get up, snake. Let's back up a little bit here. This is probably the worst form of rat hunting I've ever seen. There we go. What the hell? Oh shit! Get up, snake! Oh god, this is not good. Where do these guys magically appear from, first of all? Alright, get going. Alright. I don't know where they magically came from, but I don't like it. Wait, did... Is this because I set off C4? <laughs> Alright, we got the PAL key. That's good. Now what? You got the card key back. Good job. Now hurry to the control room. Interesting. What do you think of this, Campbell? 
You got the card key. Good. Now get back to the control room and use that key to re-input the PAL codes. Stop that launch. Alright, so... The hell? God damn it. I got found at the last second. Of course I did. I guess if I'm going to try to sneak around, though, I need to start using a silenced weapon. Not having... Not having a radar is a real pain in the ass. God damn it. This isn't going. Where'd you come from? Wait, you're not dead? Oh, you asshole. Oh, this is going fantastically. That didn't go well. Get up! God damn it, this is going fantastically. Just making a run for it. Let's just do it the old-fashioned way. Murdering the whole way. Get off me. Alright, I think we're clear now. Oh my god, that went horrible. <laughs> trying to find a stinking rat to blow up, like, really? Alright, there was cameras in this room, I mean, that's how I kind of got spotted in the first place, right? Do I want to use those, or do I want to use the SOCOM and try to... There, there it is. Okay, get rid of that one. There's still a camera in there, though. Where is it? There it is. Enough of your nonsense. Alright. So we got these three laptops. I gotta put the regular key there, I gotta put the cool key there, and I gotta put the hot key here. And they're all the same key, so that means I'm gonna have to put this one in. Where's that pal key? Put this one in here, and then I'm gonna have to go make the card cold, so I guess I go back to where I fought Vulcan Raven. Please tell me this is the right spot, right order, left to right. Please tell me I did listen that far in. Yay! Weird that, that they bailed out of here. Pal code number one confirmed. I'm really confused as to why... Awaiting pal code number two. There must be a reason Ocelot okay. and Liquid bailed. That takes care of pal code number one. Now, pal number two. Freeze the key. Man, that was violent as get out. Violent as get out is what I say to that. Alright. Um That'll probably do for today, I think. That that's probably the good spot to stop. So join me next time when I move on and try to figure out how to cool this key down. So I can do that, and then I guess we'll do the heat up the key and then I'm assuming Ocelot and Liquid are just making me do this as some part of evil plan on their their part. But regardless, whatever. Let's go see what the colonel's got Snake. to say. We input the PAL codes. That's it? That's all you got for me? How about you, Master? Anything? Now freeze that key. Get somewhere cold. We will do that, indeed. How about Deep Throw? We haven't heard from Deep Throw in for friggin' ever.
I'm assuming Deep Throat's dead. So, is that Deep Throat Mantis or something? Probably not. Who knows? Anyway, gonna save and that'll do for today. You got nothing special to say, then we got nothing to say to you. We'll see you guys next time for freezing hot action.